What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to part five of my DIY solar installation. Sitting in front of you is a solar deck. This is a junction box, a nice low profile one that fits underneath the panels. So I will be running the wires through the attic from the combiner box up to the solar decks. So let's open it up and show you the way it looks inside. The cover just pops right off. And then this is what you got inside. You have a rail that's inside here and a ground bus bar. I already knocked out one of the knockouts to put my conduit connector. This will come from the bottom side, come up through the roof and connect on the bottom side. Wires come up through here. Then you have things like this. They have a couple of different options, but these are the ones that I got. They'll just snap onto the rails. And then you connect your wires like that. So it'll come up through the attic, connect into one side of this. Then from your solar panels, you'll connect to the other side through these strain reliefs. You have a couple of dimples in the bottom where you can drill out holes for different strain reliefs. I got these ones that have a, an oval opening for the flat in-phase Q cable. So I'll be drilling it out and putting them on there. And then I got these little ones off from Amazon. These are pretty small. And uh, that'll be for the ground wire, the six gauge ground wire, and I'll have to drill that out for those. So that's what we got going on today. These will be installed. I, I have three of them to install today. And so let's get to it. Well, all three Solidex are installed. There's going to be th three different sections here. So this is the one on the side of the garage. And then the front of the house over here. And then on the back side, there's the third one. So all these rails running parallel with each other, that's going to be one section. There's going to be five panels going on these two rails, which will be the third section, but then the first section is going to be these six 
plus these seven for a total of 13. So I'll actually have to have two Q cables going into the solar deck, whereas the other two solar decks only have one cable going in. So those other ones are already, I, mean, I have screws in them just to hold them in place, but so I left this cover off just so you could see kind of what it looks like installed. Then it goes on top like that. And then you put screws into it to hold it in place. I'm only gonna put two screws because I still have to run the wiring up and finish that up. But I'm gonna do that another day. I'm done for today. So I will go ahead and do that real quick. Set the camera down. I just don't want to lose track of the rest of the screws, so I'll just throw them in there. Be the easiest way for me to keep track of them. Put one in on the other side. There we go. I may have gone a little overboard with the roof sealant, but better safe than sorry. So here's a pointer when using this roof patch, tar, whatever you want to call it. Make sure that you have some mineral spirits and a rag on hand. You could see in the video how much was all over this and look how clean it got it. Because inevitably, no matter how hard you try, you will always get this crap all over your hands and tools. And this, keeping it on hand, uh, makes it a big help to clean it up. I didn't want to get too messy, so I kept stopping and cleaning my hands off a little bit at a time. So make sure you have some mineral spirits on hand when you're using this stuff. So that does it for part five in my DIY solar installation series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more I can do it myself videos.